Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a quick haul and swatch video of a new cosmetics brand that I'm familiar with and it is Kiko Cosmetics. Um, now Kiko is an Italian makeup brand that has been slowly making its way across the pond um, into the US and I first started, saw it on YouTube and on Instagram. I know Carly from Carly Bible uses one of their eyeshadows as a highlight dupe for Max Whisper of Guilt. Um, and they actually just started, or they actually just opened a new store in King's Plaza Mall in Brooklyn, so I thought, why not give it a go? Um, I didn't pick up too many products um, because, I, again, I just wanted to test the waters a little bit, but the first few products that I did pick up were these eyeshadows. Um, they come in a little box like this, and then you just like pluck it out, and it's in this little plastic thing. Um, but the end result are these little eyeshadows, and I picked up three metallic, girl, I did pick up three metallic shades, um, and the first one is number 211, and it is this shimmering bronzy color, which... I'm excited about because these are just the types of eyeshadows that I go for um, and here it is I don't know if the camera is picking it up but it's just so beautiful what I like about the colors is that they're so buttery um, and they're just super smooth to apply so the next one is number 256 which is this beautiful oh no Um, I just broke it and I broke it it is this really pretty um, yellow gold color ah. and it just again here it is when applied when swatched um, I love how buttery they are they're super pretty um, and the, the, the colors last for a little while I remember I was playing around with them um, for the past couple of days and I was super thrilled with what I saw. Um, the last color that I picked up or th from this Infinity Eyeshadows is number 257 which is another gold color that looks very similar to the first one um, but this one is more of a rose gold color. So here it is on my finger and then one swatch so the 257 is a little bit different just by the tiniest like hair of a difference it is more of a rose gold I don't know if the camera is picking it up it's definitely much more shimmery um, I think they're gorgeous I can't wait to play around with them a little bit more and kind of create more looks especially as we go into the holidays where you know holiday season is like prime time to wear like shimmery gold colors um, so yeah, the other, the last two products that I picked up from Kiko were another eyeshadow, but then I picked up a concealer just because um, I was kind of impressed and I wanted to see how they lasted. But this eyeshadow is the water eyeshadow, I believe it's called, um, and it's very similar to the NARS um, Infinity eyeshadows. I no, I forget what it's called, but NARS Dual Intense. Ha! Ah. The NARS Dual Intense eyeshadows that they came out with um, a few months ago and I fell in love with those because it was just super like pigmented. I think I mentioned it in my video like what like a September favorites or a haul video a while back but I'll link that one below. But this is the um, shade by Kiko and again it's just like easy to apply. Um, I don't get a ton of fallout. This is the color and that one is the color... 205 so it's perfect for a plummy smoky eye as you can see all of the colors are richly pigmented they're super gorgeous um, I'm excited about it I can't wait to try out more from the line um, the wear is great I think they're doing an amazing job in terms of eye makeup the last product I had picked up was a concealer and this is the color uh, number seven and this is it. It matches me perfectly. I put it underneath the eye area and it is just like full coverage, but it doesn't feel thick or heavy like a few others 
Um, and more specifically, I'm, I think when I look at this, I automatically think of the Bobbi Brown like creamy concealers. But those are just like super thick um, and it tends to like build up on the other eye area. And this one is just super gorgeous. I'm wearing it today. I love it. It just like does a great job in terms of concealing everything. Um, let me see if I can... I don't know if a swatch would make sense, but here it is. You can see it is just supremely, supremely good. Um, and it is a full coverage concealer that, again, just does everything that you want it to. It covers everything, but it doesn't feel like caked up on your under your eye area. Um, and so that is it. I didn't pick up too much because I um, was kind of just testing the waters. What I do like about the brand is that it's affordable. Um, all of the eyeshadows that I picked up, with the exception of uh, this eyeshadow, they're all about $9. This one is $12, I think, and I think this is on the pricier side for the brand. Um, so the products range from like $9 to maybe $15 max, I want to say. Um, they're richly pigmented and again the colors just last for such a long time when you wear them that I don't think this would be something that you would uh, regret spending your money on. Um, what I don't like about the brand that is hard to find, um, since it is relatively new in the US, um, they don't have too many locations and even to get to the one in Brooklyn and Kings Plaza Mall, it's not a like prime location because it's not in central Brooklyn, it's kind of far out, and unless you know of King's Plaza, you wouldn't even know that, you know, there was a mall in, in Brooklyn. Um, for me, growing up, Brooklyn was kind of like the local mall where my friends and I would hang out in junior high and in high school, so I'm familiar with it, but if you're new to the area, you probably don't even know that, you know, Brooklyn, like, King's Plaza is, is a thing. Um, but as they grow and as they expand, I'm kind of hoping that they um, go into more areas. Um, that way it will be a lot more readily available. I didn't pick up any of the foundations or the lipsticks simply because the lipsticks were a little too creamy for me. Um, I tend to prefer a matte lip um, because it tends to last a little bit longer. And if it is a creamy lipstick, um, I'd, I have to. I'm very weary of it. Um, because there are very few brands who know how to do long-lasting creamy lipsticks. Um, and then for the face products, the foundations, um, and the powders, the foundations are more like BB creams, and I'm not big into BB creams. Um, and the powders just, um, there was, I couldn't find a proper match, and you know, I didn't want to go through the whole spending money on a powder that might not work, so I have my tried and true products, though I tend to kind of just venture out when I'm looking into eyeshadows. Um, so yeah. So we'll see, I'm probably going to go back and pick up a few more items just to kind of play around. So that's the end of today's video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new videos. And leave me a comment below if you're familiar with Kiko Cosmetics. But until next time, bye guys.